Hey guys, Charles here with D2IPDesigns.com. I wanted to go over um, a little issue that some people have been having with Cinema 4D uh, R13 and I think a few other versions actually. And um, basically it's um, an issue with the viewports and I personally had an issue with that and some crashing and I figured out what the issue was. Anyway, oftentimes when you would go to this multi viewport um, view, um, this viewport here, um, for me personally, I know some other people are having it, it would start glitching, like there'd be random lines all over the place and this grid here would um, disappear. And I was also uh, getting a lot of crashes. And um, what I found out was my graphics driver, um, the most recent update are no good. The most recent updates for the graphics drivers are no good. And my catalyst, um, the most recent catalyst was no good. I don't know what um, graphics card you guys might have. I personally am I'm running the AMD Radeon um, 6670 um, HD. That's my graphics card. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the steps you can do to fix this whole issue. So I'm going to go ahead and close that in 4D. Um, first thing I did was I went here to uh, AMD's website and um, I downloaded the um, previous um, Catalyst and display drivers. Um, I downloaded the um, Catalyst software suite, it comes with several different drivers. Um, if you want to know whether or not it's compatible with you um, or with the drivers, excuse me, if you want to know if, if it's compatible with your graphics card, go ahead and click on it and um, come down here and it displays the uh, different products that it's compatible with. I personally am running, let's see, where is it at? This right here, the AMD Radeon HD 6, um, 6600 series. So as you can see, this is compatible with me. Um, this is for uh, Windows 7 and Vista. So go ahead and just download it there. Once you've downloaded it, you can go ahead and click out of this. Um, go to your control panel go to uninstall program, go ahead and uninstall, um, well actually you don't really uninstall this, it's right here, the AMD Catalyst Install Manager, go ahead and hit um, change, hit next, um, make sure it's uh, the uninstall manager is selected, next, yes, and then we're going to wait while this opens up, and then uh, you're going to go ahead and hit custom, next, and you're gonna go ahead and wait while it um, populates the list. Okay, now click on Catalyst Control Center, hit next. Okay, you're gonna un uninstall that crap. Okay, let me go ahead and close out of this, yes. Obviously I'm not gonna do it because I've already gone through all this, but I'm just showing you how. And then go back to your start uh, menu, and then here's the computer. Go ahead and right click on it, properties, and then device manager. And then under display adapters here, here is the um, graphics driver. Go ahead and hit uninstall. Then your computer will go into safe mode. Go ahead and um, restart it. It'll start again in safe mode. Um, go ahead and open up the uh, Catalyst display software. What is the name of it? That The thing you downloaded from the AMD website go ahead and open that up, install the drivers, and um, restart your computer again. And you should be set. That should solve your issue. It solved mine. I know it's worked for several other people. Um, I will leave you a link to the AMD's website where you can download the uh, software suite or the driver suite. And um, yeah, guys, I hope this helps you and hope it solves your problems. I'm out of here. Peace.